Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. And I encourage you to watch my geology and rock and mineral prospecting videos and get out there in nature and prospect for your own beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I can buy more materials to produce interesting and captivating science videos for yourself. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your support. Today's lecture is on plasma, the fourth state of matter after solid, solid, liquid, and gas, and also it's known as degenerate matter, and exists in stars, but we'll discuss that now. This is a neon sign, and consists of plasma. The plasma glows under a high electrostatic potential between it. Plasma, also known as degenerate matter, is the fourth state of matter after solid, liquid, and gas. It is the most common form of matter in the universe, existing in and emanating from stars. It is plasma from the sun that travels to Earth as solar winds and produces the northern or aurora borealis and southern or Australia borealis lights. It contains it contains a positively charged nuclei and negatively charged electrons, including positively charged electrons called positrons. Plasma can be artificially generated by heating a heavy by heating a gas to very high temperatures, thousands of kelvins, or subjecting it to a high electrical or electromagnetic field. When temperatures fall, Ions and electrons recombine into atoms and become a gas. Artificial plasma exists in plasma TVs, fluorescent lamps, neon signs, Tesla coils, such as this Tesla coil that I have here, and in the inductively coupled plasma instrument. This is an ICP, or inductively coupled plasma instrument. It analyzes for metal concentrations in chemistry laboratories. It does this here, in this little screen. This is a door with a screen that you can look at the plasma through. If you open the door, you will see a flame, an argon flame, red surrounded by coils, which are radio frequency coils that produce a radio magnetic field around the plasma to keep it contained. It's also thousands of degrees Kelvin. Artificial plasma also exists in inductively coupled plasma instruments and in chemistry laboratories. New natural plasma, besides existing in stars, black holes, white dwarfs, neutron stars, magnetars, and in the intergalactic space also makes up the Earth's ionosphere, magnet, mag magnetosphere, and lightning. Here's a picture of lightning. Lightning discharges 100 megavolts at 30 kiloamperes and emits electromagnetic radiation such as radio waves, microwaves, light, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and gamma rays. Plasma contained consists of unbound positively charged Plasma contains of unbound positively positive charges called ions or nuclei and negative charges called electrons. The charges balance out 
but the electrons are free and do not orbit the nuclei. The particles also do not collide with each other, but are attracted to each other electrostatically. Plasma also can contain charged solids, such as dust, in the intergalactic universe, as seen in nebulae. In a plasma lamp in Jacob's Ladder, which we will see in a demonstration, the electric potential difference between the anode and cathode changes an inner gas or air, respectively, from a gas into a plasma. The cathode pulls the ions toward it, and the anode pulls the electrons toward it. As the potential increases, more and more ions and electrons are produced in a chain reaction called the Townsend and the Avalanche. I have a Jacob's Ladder here. And this produces a plasma between the two electrodes which stick up. I'll plug this in and we'll observe the plasma. And there is the plasma. It's ionizing the metal atoms on each electrode and causing an arc between the anode and cathode electrodes. It looks like a flame, but it's pure electricity in an ionized form called plasma. This is a plasma lamp. In the plasma lamp, there's a cathode and an anode. A high potential exists between the cathode and the anode, causing electricity in plasma form to discharge to each electrode, similar to how the old cathode ray TVs used to work. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, to keep looking down.